It's your fault. Do you hear me? It's all your fault. Your job, it's not what you want to do with your life. You've gained weight. You're not living the life you dreamed would be yours. You're just going through the motions. You're working a job that feels like a perpetual grind. And you live for the weekends. Then the weekend comes and you spend it scrolling, streaming, gaming, wasting time. Your kids, your family, they think your face is glued to your cell phone. You're not improving yourself. You're not setting yourself up for the life you actually want. You know what you need to do. You just aren't doing it. Somewhere inside of us, we hear a voice. It leads us in the direction of the person we wish to become. But it is up to us whether or not to follow. If I were to ask you what needs to change, you would give me an entire list of I need to's. I need to lose weight. I need to read more. I need to spend more time with my family. I need to spend more time with my kids. I need to start making more money. I need to pay for my kids college. I need to, I need to, I need to. You want to be better. You want to be stronger. You want more out of life. You know you do. And no matter what you want to tell yourself is the reason bad timing, COVID, responsibilities, politics, whatever. The reality is, it's all your fault. Yes, 2020 has been difficult, but actually, it's been the best year of your life. You've faced challenges, you've adapted, you've overcome, you've grown exponentially, you've become a better person. You're where you are today because of the decisions that you made and because of the risks you didn't take. Most of all though, you're where you're at today because of fear. Now you're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid to fail. You're afraid you can't get a better job. You're afraid you can't lose that weight that you've gained. You're afraid that if you try, if you really commit, your best won't be good enough. Listen, you think it's easier to live in the middle. Middle is easy. It's easy to think other people have it worse, that your life really isn't that bad, that your relationships really aren't that bad, that your health won't be a problem until later in life. But everything could be better. If you had more time, more money, maybe a little help, it could all be better, except for some mythical force just outside of your control. I get it, especially if you have responsibilities, especially if you have kids or other people counting on you, I get it. Hey, listen, there's no judgment here. No judgment whatsoever. But I do know this, that time, that money, that extra help, it's not coming and it never will. No one is handing out time, money and help. You have to earn it, earn it for yourself. And the only way to earn it is to break through discomfort and fear. Embrace your discomfort. Take that leap of faith, travel the world, send a risky text, swim naked, fight a shark, stab a stranger, steal a car, flee to Mexico, live a little. Listen, I'm, I'm just kidding. I've been afraid to step out of my comfort zone many times in my life. I didn't know if I could graduate from West Point, neither did my instructors. U.S. Army Ranger School or Special Forces Selection, I knew they would be hard. I knew I would be miserable. I heard all the stories, but the idea of dealing with something hard wasn't holding me back. It was my own doubt. Would I be good enough? I was afraid that I wasn't good enough. Living in fear leads to living with regret. Living with fear removes control from our lives. It makes us feel like we're floating, like we're just marking time until the next rest, until the next vacation, until retirement, until death. Life isn't meant to be spent just marking time. It's meant to be lived. We're the only creature on earth that has that ability to dream, to create, to imagine something for ourselves in a world that doesn't currently exist and to chase that dream. We owe it to ourselves to experience those dreams, to make them happen. Fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. I don't want your dreams to die. I don't want that for myself. 
I don't want that for anyone. And that's why I'm introducing you to my new Deliberate Discomfort Challenge. The Deliberate Discomfort Challenge is exactly what the title suggests. It deliberately pushes your boundaries in every critical area. Mental, physical, spiritual, social, emotional, yes, professional. We'll challenge you methodically over a 60 day period and we'll be there to guide you. We're going to be your mentors because we want you to succeed. For 60 painstaking days, we're going to challenge you to fulfill your goals. We will challenge you to eat healthy, to work out twice a day, to open your mind, to meditate, to reconnect with lost friends, to express gratitude, to improve every single day. No excuses, no failure, no mercy. You are accountable to yourself. And nobody is harder on ourselves than ourselves, meaning you determine your level of difficulty. You can turn the volume up on this challenge as much as you want. If you follow through on everything we ask you to do, you will transform in ways you never thought possible. You'll be more confident, more at ease, more clear-headed, and more focused. You will be more fit. You'll feel better about yourself. Feel better about yourself as you look at yourself in the mirror. You will absolutely know that you are making progress in every aspect of your life. Completing the course will be an accomplishment that will stay with you and will define your future. I'm not only the chairman of Mission Six Zero, I'm also a client. I took this challenge a few months ago and I lost 36 pounds. Losing weight was incredible, but the mental clarity, the discipline and the determination put me back on track to becoming the person I want to be. The key here is that we only ask you to do it. You have to decide whether you will. The world is full of willing people, some willing to work and the rest willing to let them. If you miss one single element of one single day's goals during the 60 day challenge, you fail and you start over on day one, recycle. You then have a choice to start over from the very beginning or you can simply quit. And that sounds harsh, right? Well, it has to be. It's the same model used in the United States Army Ranger School, which incidentally is just over 60 days. It's the model that is used in many elite military schoolhouses. It isn't that you have to be perfect every single day. You have days where your workouts suck, where your mind will wander as you read, when your calls to long lost friends are not fruitful, but you have to show up and you cannot quit. And you cannot shirk responsibility. Every single day, every hour, every minute, every action is on you. It's all on you. The results of your life rest on your shoulders. It is all your fault and that's awesome. Just about a decade ago, I founded Mission Six Zero to take the skills I learned serving as a Special Forces officer and combine them with those of Medal of Honor recipients, Army Rangers, Navy SEALs, and elite behavioral scientists to develop the Total Warrior Model. This methodology, which we have used to improve the effectiveness of Fortune 100 companies, NFL teams, and leaders throughout the world, is now a proven and respected model for improved performance. Its success led to a best-selling book, Deliberate Discomfort, and a master class embraced by high performance individuals and organizations alike. But sometimes you need to push yourself in a more primal way. Sometimes to really change, you just need something that is hard to accomplish, that asks you to dig deeper, that asks you to grind it out. I'm gonna tell you something that Ranger School graduates typically don't tell you. No single day of Ranger School really was that hard. If a healthy young person randomly walked into any day of ranger training, they could probably make it. But I'll tell you what, 62 days in a row is not fun. It demands a lot from you. It can feel impossible because some days you just want a break. You're tired of walking, you're tired of moving, you're tired of performing, you're tired of pushing. You're just tired. And every moment you have a choice. You keep moving towards the ranger objective and complete the mission or you don't. And if you don't, it's over, you fail and you get to decide if you want to start over all again or quit. But if you don't quit, you decide to keep moving forward. You learn something about yourself. You learn that you're good enough and you are good enough. You can do amazing things. You can achieve more than you ever thought possible. You can improve your life along every axis, your body, your mind, your spirit, your relationships and your work, but you've got to take that leap. And I want you to take that leap with me. Let me cut right to it. I'm offering the Deliberate Discomfort Challenge for only $297. I'm so confident the Deliberate Discomfort Challenge will work for you that the first week 
of programming is entirely free. 100% free. Sign up, join your class in your class chat rooms, meet your classmates looking to improve their lives just like you. Get your first week's goals, books, workouts, food plan completely free. At the end of the week, if you don't believe it's making a massive impact on your life, you can quit, no questions asked, but you won't want to. You'll want to stay, you'll want to finish, you'll want to cheer your classmates on, you'll want to be the person you've always aspired to be, you just didn't know how. You want to know you can do something hard. You want to know that you can deal with discomfort. And if you make the decision to stay with me through that first week, I have something for you. Access to the Deliberate Discomfort Masterclass. The Deliberate Discomfort Masterclass is the same training curriculum NFL teams, Fortune 100 companies, CEOs, and high net worth individuals have paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for. It's a masterclass with over 66 different videos full of military elite and world-class scientists explaining firsthand how to make your life better and how to transform yourself into the person you dream of becoming, regardless of your current challenges. We wanted to create a platform to provide you the opportunity to be right there with us, to hear directly from us, to see our faces, to feel our passion. And you will get the entire masterclass for free once you commit to the Deliberate Discomfort Challenge. Now, why am I doing this? Because I passionately want you to succeed. I want you to have every tool at your disposal to dominate life. I want you to learn another secret. Even though I built the Total Warrior program, I have slipped from time to time. I gained weight during COVID. I lost my routine. I read less. I worried more. And I knew I had to break that gridlock and refocus. So I sat down with my team and we developed this challenge. And then we did it. And it was hard. And there were parts of it that really made me uncomfortable. Parts I did not enjoy. But man, 60 days later, I was thinner, healthier, with the clearest vision I've ever had. Not because I was motivated. Motivation never lasts. I worked because I was committed. I was committed to the program. Staying with the program led to a healthy routine. A healthy routine led to good habits. Good habits led to success. I didn't wish myself into success. I didn't magically become healthy again. I didn't have surgery. I didn't use chemicals. I didn't become better overnight. I reprogrammed myself. I reminded my mind and my body of what it feels like to be healthy. And I've had some of the best months of my life as a result. I want that for you. Last year has been very hard on so many people, but hard times make stronger people. Hard times lead to opportunities. And this is your opportunity to challenge yourself and change your life permanently. To turn yourself into a person that can handle any challenge, can obtain any goal, and can feel great while doing it. So commit right now to lending me a week of your life. That's it, one week. If you don't love everything that you see from the Deliberate Discomfort Challenge, we'll go our own separate ways, no hard feelings. Or you can learn what every Ranger School student that has earned the glorious moment of having the Ranger tab pinned on their shoulder knows the sweetest reward is setting an enormous goal for yourself and achieving it. You can achieve it. You can achieve it. And I want you to achieve it. Join me on the Deliberate Discomfort Challenge. Conquer it and start living the life you've always wanted.